Hey y'all, welcome to video number 143. This video is on area of triangles and quadrilaterals. Keywords here are units squared and quadrilaterals. Now units squared is the uh, way in which we give our answers to area questions. Um, and the quadrilaterals means four-sided shapes. So uh, there are three different quadrilateral formulae and a triangle formula that you need to learn to be able to calculate the area of these shapes. Put them in the blue box uh, in the method section. You've got rectangle is L times W, length times width. Uh, parallelogram is B times H, base times height. Trapezium, half the sum of the parallel sides, half multiplied by the sum of the par parallel sides multiplied by the height. Okay, and we call that half of A plus B multiplied by H. Okay, A and B are those parallel sides. Um, and I will just do a quick sketch of you for that above the uh, formula. That side is parallel to that side. That is A, that is B. Okay, now it doesn't matter which one you call A and B, as long as you know that the A and B are the parallel sides. Okay, and um, the triangle is half the base multiplied by the height. Okay, half BH. They're the four formulae that you need to learn for this particular video. Uh, other shapes can be broken up into these shapes and you can work out the areas um, of the compound shapes. Uh, maybe I should have put that in the keywords there. Compound shapes are shapes that have uh, been stuck together and made one big shape uh, and you need to be able to split them up into the respective shapes and calculate the areas for them and then add all the areas together at the end but anyway it starts off pretty simple in this one with the area of the shapes below this is a rectangle this would be 9 times uh, 11 or 11 times 9 that would be 99 right but you do centimeters times centimeters and you get your centimeters squared there's our unit squared okay um, the 5 times 11, all right, is the thing that we could do here, all right? That would be the easiest way to do this question to begin with, and then half the answer, okay? You could, however, take 5.5 and multiply it by 5, um, and that, that's acceptable, all right? Uh, or you could take 2.5 and multiply it by 11, all right? It's up to you. But I'm going to do 5 multiplied by 11, 55, and half my answer, all right? And I'll just show you that as a, a bit of working. So 5 multiplied by 11 over 2. Okay, that's what I would write down for this one. Most, most people prefer that. Okay, so 55 over 2. That could be your answer if you wanted it to be centimeters squared. Um, but we can half that number. Half of 5 is 2.5. Half of 50 is 25. So 27.5 centimeters squared would be the answer to that question. All of these are able to be done without a calculator, by the way, or should be uh, on non-calculated papers. Now, this is a trapezium. OK, and what we've got to do is add the two parallel side lengths together. First of all, it's a three step method, really, in, in bullet points is how I teach it. Add the parallel sides. Eight plus twelve is um, uh, 20. Eight plus twelve. I'll just think about where to write it. Eight plus twelve equals 20. OK, uh, the next thing we would do is half that. So half that answer. So 20 divided by two is equal to 10. All right. And then you take the 10 and you multiply it by the four, which is the height, okay? Now this is the perpendicular height, not the diagonal length height. If you get given this diagonal length height, don't use it, all right? It's a bit of a red herring, sometimes I chuck that in. We want the straight up height is what we want, okay? 10 times four is equal to 40, and our units would be in centimeters squared, okay? So there you go, there's our final answer for that one. I'll just get rid of the workings out, all right? So you've just got the answers there to to see and not get confused by all right so there you go there's that right i'm just going to pause the video and get my calculator so i've got that ready to go um and that's because in question two we've got some decimal numbers so i thought we might as well just use calculate here um if you had to multiply your decimal numbers watch my video on multiplying decimals and you will uh, be able to do that but let's not practice this in this skill in this particular particular video just take too long so calculate the area of the shapes below 15.2 multiplied by 12.5 is what we'd need to do for that one uh, because that is a parallelogram and that has a formula of base times by height again it's the perpendicular height if you get given this diagonal slant height you do not want to use that okay you want to use this 12.5 uh, I didn't put it in there, what that height was, um, but you might well get that in a question. So either way round, doesn't matter what one you put first of the two numbers, base times height, height times base, it does not matter. Okay, 190 meters squared, 190 m to the power of 2, m squared, because this one was in 
meters and this was in meters okay now this one this is a compound shape all right and a compound shape needs to be split up into its component parts and the component parts on this one would be three different rectangles all right so i'm going to split it down here you don't have to split it this way uh, particularly but i'm going to split the shapes up like that right and i can see that this one and i like to write this inside the shape here three times by four is 12 so 12 meters squared for that area okay this one two times by four so eight meters squared right now this one what are we going to use We've got 15 all the way along the base there. We don't know what that length there is, right? But we can work it out, okay? And we've also got nothing for this particular length here, but we can work it out, right? Now, we work this length here out because we know from here to here is four meters. You can see it here, here, four meters, here to here, four meters. We know that is halfway along, that's two meters. So we know that this bit that's left over is two meters. So I'm gonna write that there, two M. Okay, and then here to here, well, we know it's 15 all the way along. We know that two meters needs to be taken off, three meters needs to be taken off. So that would be taking five meters off and therefore we'd have 10 meters. So we've got two meters times 10 meters for the area of this rectangle in the middle. That would be 20 meters squared. Okay, so we're going to add those three um, areas together. That's going to be 32 and 40 meters squared. So 40 meters squared is the answer to that compound shape area question. Right, let's move myself over. Have a little look at the third and final question. Um, got stuck there. Getting stuck all the way over. There we go. Right, three pieces of metal are joined together as shown to make a sculpture. The sum of the areas of the trapezium and the triangle is equal to the area of the rectangle. Calculate the length of the base of the sculpture. Okay, so might need a calculator for this, might not. Let's have a little look. So triangles area we can calculate we've got two times by three and half it so i'm going to put area triangle equals two times by three which equals six okay and let's put the units on that meters squared let's put meters and meters there okay just so we know what we've got um and then we half that because that is a triangle right so we're going to take the six meters squared and divide it by two all right some people like to do it like that as well. Like I did it a slightly different way earlier. So that would be three meters squared for the area of the triangle. There it is, right? Underline that. The area of the trapezium um, is, and I've put TRA because I've realized that triangle starts with TR as well. So area of the trapezium is um, adding the, the parallel sides together. So two plus four, which is six, half that, which is three, and then, um, multiplied by the perpendicular height which is three so that's going to be nine uh, meters squared okay there's our answer to that i didn't show you the working out because i know i'm going to run out of space otherwise now the area of the rectangle um, is the same as the sum of these two okay so the area of the rectangle equals three plus nine meters squared so that's 12 meters squared okay and if we know that that's the case and we can work out this missing length because all we know what we need to do is this x multiplied by 2 so that's going to be 2 multiplied by x is equal to the area of 12 meters squared and then we just divide both by 2 and we get x equals 6 meters squared all right so we didn't need to calculate for that one at all because it wasn't too tricky with the numbers right and i'll just run over what i did again on this one work out the area of the triangle don't forget to half it all right uh, after you've multiplied the two lengths together uh, work out the area of the trapezium add the area of the trapezium and the triangle together to get the area of the rectangle based on the words of the question All right and then i formed a very simple equation 2x equals 12 uh, you don't need to put meters squared on the end there that was just reminding me of what the units of the answer was in um, and then you just divide both sides by two to get the the final thing okay you could think of something times two makes 12 right and not have to write that equation at the end uh, but it's nice to be able to write those equations so thank you very much for watching this one hope you've enjoyed it hope you learned something from it please do practice by clicking the link in the description and um, yeah share let people know about what's happening uh, with this if you're enjoying using it and it's making sense uh, why not let other people know thanks very much take care of yourselves bye bye